Oh my god, this got dark quick. Gross. I'll know that I finished the Cannibal Lottery demo, and the actual game still won't be released for another year. But I realized that what I love about this game is that it has a bunch of different paths that you can take. So I decided I'm going to try a couple different methods in the demo. Today we are going to change Felina's mind completely. Instead of trying to be centered around making both parties happy, this time she's going to be focused with making the colony happy. She's going to be a completely anti-provider party. And we'll see exactly how long I can survive. Also, my hair is wet. Deal with it. Alright, also, it has become abundantly clear to me that you're going to probably hear a couple squeaks in the background, and I can't say what they belong to because you're gonna have to wait for Monday's video. Chapter 1 Our thoughts are with the families of these two men. It was a tragic accident. We'll take measures to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. I just skipped all of that, so huh, I'm going to use footage from my last Cannibal Lottery run because I accidentally skipped through all of that. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm editing this video right now, and basically what you just missed from me skipping that is I lied to the press and I told them that two people died instead of three people in a tragic accident during a rampage shelter build, or construction of a rampage shelter, which is used when the cannibals go crazy. So, you're up to speed. I lied to the press. All right, decision time. Culture and the arts, technology and science, education, special projects. Which one of these options would be the most colony beneficial and the least provider beneficial? Part of me thinks special projects because that's the rampage shelter. Part of me also thinks culture and arts because they sort of help spread the word. I'm going to go with culture and arts and see if that changes anything about how the reporters look at me. <clears throat> this just in, tragic news from the Rampage Shelter. Const this just in, tragic news from the Rampage Shelter construction today, when collapsed scaffolding took the lives of two workers and left a third in a coma. The families have been contacted and the deceased have been presented to turn low as sacrifices. We still await word from Governor Dancy regarding the lottery scheduled this month. Sources close to the government tower believe Dancy will announce a cancellation later today, as not only do the two deceased workers fulfill the required monthly sacrifice, but Turin Lowe also received the remains of an elderly woman three days ago, meaning they now have one corpse beyond their minimum. For more on this regrettable incident, we turn to Lushlin Newsy's editorial... editorializer, Masa Murda. Masa? Two smooshed workers means another month to live for the rest of us. Plus, they got Grandma Souffle as an extra bonus. What's the old saying? Happy cannibals, happy animals. Let's find the positives where we can, my fellow livestock. Um, Masa, what do you think our chances are that the lottery will be cancelled this month? You know her motto. Cannibals first, humans for seconds. Or even thirds with all the bodies this month. Let's hope that won't be the case. Uh, for Lushland Colony News, I'm Broderick Talk. Wishing you all a safe evening. I'm Alawicha Brandy Kitcha. Everything discussed in this room is confidential. If there is a leak, I will replace every single one of you. If we're discussing state secrets, why is Daltor here? Daltor is involved. Her loyalties lie with them. My loyalties lie with Felina. I would never jeopardize her life. Let's proceed. 
Sharn, stop taking notes. Nothing said here is leaving this room, either spoken or written. Two days ago, there was an accident. Four workers constructing the rampage shelter fell when scaffolding broke. Three died, one is in a coma. Three? Not two like you told Lushland Colony News? And the man's family? Dalton Ever was responsible for building the scaffolding. He was out of long rivets. He used short ones instead. It was his fault it broke. I've told the media he ran away after his mistake. He would face criminal charges for his negligence. He has no spouse or children. It's reasonable to claim he's on the run. Daltor and her brother Riztor were called to help remove the scaffolding. They secreted Dalton's body out in the debris without anyone seeing. I'm telling all of you, we have a hidden body in a locked crate in the safe locker, because I'm sure Malik would if I didn't. This way, you're all culpable. If it leaks, you lose your jobs. You can't claim you didn't know. If the providers get close to going berserk, we need a body to give them right away. There won't be time for a lottery. And I need some leverage in our situation. Lord Creighton doesn't negotiate. This body will more than likely be a bribe for him when I have no other options. If we told the providers there were three dead, we'd have to hand them over all of them this month. The lottery would still run next month, we would have gained nothing from this extra body. Keeping him gives me some options, some wiggle room when I'm dealing with Creighton. Is that the only point to this meeting? To make us co-conspirators in your crime against the providers? No. We need to discuss the lottery. What are you going to do, Felina? Alright, claim the lottery was never run due to a clerical error. Postpone giving the lottery results for the first time. Turn over the lottery winner as well as the two men who died. Turn over the lottery winner. Um, don't run the lottery next month. Do run the lottery next month. Claim the one of the men who died in the accident was the lottery winner. Okay, did that one last time. So, I think... We're not going to turn over whoever, so it's either postpone or claim the lottery was never run. I'm going to claim the lottery was never run. You risk being caught canceling a lottery, which will get you eaten by the cannibals. Even if they don't eat you this time, they'll be angry. Let's see. Every single month, I'm second-guessing myself. Now the stakes are higher than ever. Was it the right decision, Daltor? Not just about the lottery. Were we right to hide that body? I'm gonna just go ahead and skip this and use the one from the last one, because these haven't changed. Yeah, once again, no, I'm not. Essentially, this conversation, uh, Daltor is gaslighting Felina. Daltor is convincing Felina that she's the only person that Felina can trust, essentially. And Felina is going off about how the providers basically created this perfect synthetic world for humans, and humans need to be more grateful because utilitarianistically, giving up two people a month for basically living in a utopia is worth it. All right, you're all caught up. Um, is there a way to go back just like a little bit? So, the lottery was not conducted when we asked. A clerical error, was it? That's right. I can vouch for Felina, Lord Creighton. I'm sure you can, Daltor. But of course, I don't believe a word you say. An error like this is unacceptable, Felina. We requested the lottery early in the month because we were starving. The last sacrifice was short of the minimum. The date we gave was to prevent us from lapsing in this irresponsible clerk could have caused us to rampage. Dozens, perhaps hundreds of your people would have been dismembered. I need not remind you of the last rampage. No, I don't need a reminder. I give my personal guarantee there won't be another error like this while I'm governor. And considering this was so grievous an error, I trust the clerk has been dismissed. They were suspended for a week without pay and given a reprimand. I see. I suppose that's better than nothing. I trust you don't mind if I verify what you said what you just said. I would like to call the vice governor's assistant. Sharon, 
I believe is her name, to confirm what you've told me. Unfortunately, Sharn is the one who made the mistake. She won't be in. How uncanny. Shall I ask my messenger if he saw her when he came to your office earlier? Felina, Felina, your innocence betrays you. You are a wretched liar. I'm not- Don't insult me further. We ask for a lottery on the 5th. The next day, two humans die in an accident. On the 7th, when we're to receive our sacrifice, we're told there was no lottery held at all? Why, a clerical error prevented it from happening? Isn't that just so very convenient? You know the cost for cancelling a lottery. We made this very clear. We place this clause in our agreement with your colony for our own protection, even if we would be loathed to use it. When your people die, they belong to us. When more than the bare minimum dies, we must be allowed to feast. We are your generous benefactors. We deserve an occasional windfall. You've deprived us of this with deliberate malice. What shall be our remedy, Felina? I think you know how we might replace the food you've stolen. Hmm? Felina will apologize. She will apologize for deceiving you and for canceling the lottery. We received three large bodies this month. She could not, in good conscience, kill a young man of 19 when we already had more than our quota. She took the risk to spare his life, but only because we already had our windfall. Three bodies instead of two. She is a compassionate woman, but pragmatic. If ever there was a time to cheat in order to spare life, it was this month. Do you confess that you canceled the lottery, Felina? I canceled the lottery and I beg your forgiveness. I don't confess to anything, but I'm still sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I was already outed. Straight up, uh, Daltor turned me in. I suppose since we had a windfall regardless, as Daltor stated, and because you've been such an adequate governor, I might grant you a pass. But such generosity will cost you. You're still lactating, correct, Felina? What are you thinking? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. What is he thinking? I want some of your milk. Oh my god, this got dark, quick, gross. I would like to make a delicious cheese from it. I can't remember the last time I've enjoyed such a delicacy. That's a very fair compromise. I agree. I expect a cup of chilled milk delivered to me by the end of the day. Of, of course. Now get out of here. Guys, that was a more positive ending than the one that I got where my eye was taken out. Things went as well as they possibly could with him, Felina. I know. Thank you, Daltor. You saved me. I don't want to think of what might have happened. Abuse to one such as you is unacceptable. Okay, that was not bad at all. Daltor talking to her cyborg therapist about how she loves Felina. And how she's gaslighting her. Oh, and also we are talking to a researcher who believes that he can cure the cannibals' cannibalism by, like, switching their genes and giving them the option to be omnivores again. Alright, decision time. We've thrown enough money to you with zero results. The answer is no. Fine, I'll skim off the top of the finishing school fund. Um, we went with the finishing school fund last time, and I didn't quite see the results of that, but I'm going to do it again, because it would more benefit us for the can for the providers to not be cannibals than the providers, if that makes sense. This. Last month, I spent the surplus on culture and arts department. Sharon sent a memo about that. Let's see. They say Turnlow saw the allocation on our fa financial report and wants to know why we're funding anti-provider propaganda. And the news hasn't lightened up on me. 
It was a mistake to give them a gift. Damn it. And this conversation is uh, us talking to uh, Malik about the man that's in a coma, giving him over to the providers instead of holding a lottery, or whether that's right or wrong to give sick people as opposed to doing the random lottery system. Um. Okay, so last time I handed him over to the providers to see if he'll recover, and they stole him from us, um, and used him as a meat farm and ate him alive. So this time I'm gonna see, I'll think about it. I should see if there's a way to turn him poisonous while he's in the hospital and make sure Crichton eats him. You will not let this monster terrorize you or your colony any longer, but will it work? If not, will you be caught? The punishment would be death, but the reward is the ultimate revenge. Let's go with that one. Who will lead the providers if Creighton dies? It's very difficult for one of my kind to die, Felina, but if it happened, Prater Zinn is next in line. Is Prater Zinn better than Creighton? Anyone is better than Creighton, my friend. That's not to say Zinn is perfect, but his darkness would not be as overt as Creighton's. Creighton's. I want Creighton dead. Not just because of what he did to me. He's bad for the colony. He's always been unreasonable. He was so cruel to Ledrin. He used to have night terrors. I refuse to be stuck under his thumb any longer. Felina, we're very hard to kill. Severing the head is the only certain way. What are you thinking? What about poison? What if we poisoned Kalrum Tay and gave him to Crichton as a secret gift? that he wouldn't have to share with the others. He'd eagerly accept a secret cache of food, though such a gift from you now would be suspicious. Don't make it from me. Make it from you. Offer it to him as a bribe in exchange for him to stop hurting me. That's absolutely something I would do. It wouldn't arouse suspicion. However, if I gave him a body in exchange for a weak promise, it would be suspicious. Because we both know he'd have no reason to honor his word once he had the body. Then give him half the body, or a piece. Tell him he'll get more every month if he isn't cruel to me. His bitterness never ebbs. It propels him to be callous. Not just to your kind, but even to my own people. If he's not stopped now, then when? He should have been destroyed eons ago. But... We must be sure no other providers are affected. How do I poison him, doll? I know of nothing we could eat that would kill us. Even swallowing, even swallowing small robots hasn't worked. They can't puncture our interiors any more than they can our exteriors. I would choose a substance that does the greatest neurological damage. What about mercury or arsenic? I'm not familiar with these substances. Which is more likely to cause organs to fail? Um, so, oh, arsenic um, is actually, I think, just a poison. Um, well, I don't know. I think, well, I'm gonna say arsenic. Cause that's what most people use to kill people, to kill other people. Arsenic is more toxic than mercury. It must cause the most organ damage. This is frightening, Felina. The substance may not hurt Crichton, but it will certainly hurt you. I can't let him rip me to pieces. If I don't do something, I'll just continue to be a victim. This is true. So it's worth it to you, no matter the cost. I have to, Daltor. I'll get a chemist with a private lab involved. I need you to help me get Colrum Tay out of the hospital. Taken from the hospital, killed, then given to your chemist. Yes. If I didn't do this, I'd make him a sacrifice anyway. There's no chance for him. 
I can't let having to kill him stop me from killing Crichton. Culverin must be stolen. You can't say he's been chosen as a sacrifice. Then he'd be fed to all my people. The director of the hospital, Shakla Amtir, answers to me. She's registered with the anti-provider party. You would bring this woman into our confidence to give Riz tour and I the opportunity to steal the body? You wouldn't have to get involved with the body until after we poisoned it. I'll have Chocolate Ambulance him straight to the lab tomorrow. If she hates your kind as much as the rest of our people, she'll help us. Then this is your plan. Yes, this is our plan. I need to make some calls. Guys, we're going a little bit further than last time. Make it quick. And this better be damn important. I brought you a gift from Governor Felina. A gift? This is the first of a series of gifts. You'll get the next piece of him three months from now, provided you're no longer physically abusive to Felina. <laughs> oh, marvelous. That's all I have to do? Not accost her? She was traumatized over what you did. She knows she can't fight you. This was all she could do to protect herself. Yes, yes. It's a lovely gift. And such a delightful bouquet. All for me. Who else knows about this? Looks... rare. Just how you like it. Who cooked it? I handled the butchering and preparation. Of course. Humans, they're so very squeamish. Tell her I accept. With my compliments. I'll tell her. Now leave. Good day to you, Lord Crichton. Nothing? He was absolutely fine, even more robust than usual due to the extra food. Damn. It was worth a try, my friend. I looked into this arsenic substance. It's not water-soluble. I don't think enough could be retained by the tissue. Why didn't the chemist tell you this? It was the assistant to the chemist who helped. I guess he didn't know. Ugh, what a waste. It granted us knowledge. We can use this knowledge if we try again. Thanks, Daltor. You always look on the bright side. Thank you for playing our demo. Please support our Kickstarter or Indiegogo so we can make this amazing game. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. That was actually a more, um, like, peaceful ending than the one that I ran when I was trying to make, like, both parties happy. Because, yeah, in that one, I lost an eye. In this one, I just had to give up some breast milk, which if I had to choose between giving up an eye and giving up breast milk, granted, I'm a man, so I don't have that option. But if I did, <laughs> you can best believe that I'd be given up the thing that's already supposed to be coming out of me. Unfortunate we weren't able to kill him, but also better than us, you know, giving a perfectly healthy man to them and having him be slowly eaten alive. So, all in all, being anti-cannibal uh, actually seemed like a better run. So, once again, I can't wait for this game to actually come out because I would love to play an entire, like, 15, 25, I can't remember how many chapters are in it, but do an entire playthrough um, with this mindset of anti-provider. I'm going to try this again next week where I'm going to be completely pro-provider and see what that does for me. So, yes.